Hi, welcome back to this emergency preparedness series. Thank you so much for joining me again. Don't forget to subscribe right now if you want more in this series as we go along. And today I will be talking about three tips for what to do during a flood and then also one tip for what you can do to prepare for a flood. So I'll start with to prepare for a flood, if you know that there's going to be a huge storm coming and you're in an area that's likely to flood or your, your building is likely to flood, you can pick up a bunch of sandbags before, put them outside where the flood waters is, leave them down, and that will help try to protect your building from flooding. Okay, now three tips for if you are caught in a flood. If you're inside a house or any building for that matter, and it starts to flood, you just want to go as high up in that building as possible because the higher up you get, the longer the water is going to take to get to you. If you're on a second story, it's highly unlikely that the water will come up to that second story. It's highly unlikely it'll come up that tall. Um, but if it does, your head will be hopefully above everything, no matter what. <clears throat> second thing is, second tip, if you are driving outside and you see a road is flooding, turn around, don't drown. That's the saying we have here in California anyway. I don't know if it's through the whole U.S. or just a California thing, but you just, it could be rapidly flooding. It could be a flash flood and a uh, rising as you know it and you just you never know it might look like it's only a little bit of water but then it turns out to be a huge amount of water and then you're trapped and that would suck but if you don't drive through it then you don't have to worry about it if you are caught in the middle of a flood and you're driving through do not hit the brakes no matter what you do it'll cause water to get in your car and in the brakes <clears throat> damage the brakes and then and then also it could cause your car to hydroplane, which is not fun. You don't want to go swimming through floodwaters. You don't really want to be in a boat. Obviously, if you're stuck, you kind of have to, to save your life, be in a boat. But it's not wise because you could end up injuring yourself more and hurting, hurting yourself that way and endangering yourself. A final tip, tip number three, if you are caught in a flood and if the water is like coming up really, really high, that's the time that you would want to get on the roof so that you can keep your head above the water. Same thing if you're in the car. If the water is coming up in the car, then you want to get on top of the roof of the car. Otherwise, um, if it's if the water is not coming in the car, then just stay in your car. You should be okay. And then that's that's all I really have to share with you for a flood. And then again, it kind of adds on to the other things we've learned. Have a bag ready in a flood. I don't know so much that she'd be able to grab it, but. It, and have plenty of food and water on hand. Anyway, thank you for watching this series. Next up, we'll be talking about a hurricane and a tornado. And to make sure you are notified when you get those, when those videos come out, be sure to subscribe. And in the meantime, thank you guys so much for watching. And I look forward to next time.